things. In this video, we will solve a problem on the measurement of inductance using the Maxwell inductance capacitance bridge. So let's start with our problem. So our problem is we are given a Maxwell inductance capacitance bridge which is used for the measurement of inductance by comparing it with the value of a capacitance. Now at the balance means when the bridge is balanced we are given the value of the resistances R2, R3 and R4 and the capacitance C4. Now we have to calculate the value of R1 and L1 and we are to also calculate the storage factor of the coil if the frequency is 1000 Hz. So let's try to solve this problem. We are given the Maxwell inductance capacitance bridge. So first we are going to draw the circuit for this bridge. This is the Maxwell inductance capacitance bridge where we are measuring the value of this inductance L1 by comparing it with the capacitor C4, okay? Now, instead of just remembering the balance equation for this Maxwell inductance capacitance bridge, we will uh, be going to derive that equation and then we are going to put the values in it, okay? So, here... We know that the balance equation for an alternating current bridge is given by Z1, Z4 equals to Z2, Z3. Okay, this is the general balance equation for an alternating current bridge. Now Z1 is the impedance in the arm AB, Z2 is the impedance in arm DA, Z3 is the impedance in arm BC and Z4 is the impedance in arm CD. So we are going to write the values of all these impedances. Z1 is the series combination of R1 and L1. Okay. So Z1 will be equal to R1 plus J omega L1. Series combination of R1 and L1. Z2 is the resistance only. That is R2. Z3 is also the resistance R3 and Z4 is the parallel combination of R4 and C4. Okay. Z1 is the series combination. So we have written R1 plus J omega L1. Z2 is the resistance R2. Z3 is resistance R3 and Z4 is the parallel combination of R4 and C4. So here we are having uh, the parallel combination. So whenever a resistance and capacitor, they are connected in parallel with each other. This is R, this is C. So their equivalent resistance is 1 by Z is equal to 1 by R plus 1 by Xc. Xc is 1 upon J omega C. So 1 by Z is equal to 1 by R plus j omega c so 1 by z is equal to 1 plus j omega c r upon r or we can say z is equals to r upon 1 plus j omega c r so here we are having the parallel combination of r4 and c4 so z4 can be written as r4 upon 1 plus j omega c4 r4 now we are having the balance equation Z1, Z4 equals to Z2, Z3. Just putting the value of these impedances in this balance equation. Z1 is R1 plus J omega L1. Z4 is R4 upon 1 plus J omega C4 R4. Z2 is R2 and Z3 is R3. 
Now, when we multiply this, we will get the real parts and imaginary parts in this equation. So, we are going to equate the real parts and the imaginary parts separately. We will get two equations. One will give us the value of R1 and the second equation will give us the value of L1. So, if we multiply this, we will get R1, R4 plus J omega L1, R4 equals to R2, R3 plus J omega C4, R4, R2, R3. So, when we equate this, real parts are R1, R4 and R2, R3. So, R1, R4 is equals to R2, R3. So, R1 will be equal to R2, R3 by R4. So, using this equation, we can get the value of the resistance R1. Now, in the question, we are given that the R2 is 400 ohm, R3 is 600 ohm. Okay. So, we can put their values here. R2 is 400 and R3 is 600 and R4 is 1000 ohms. So, R1 is equals to 240 ohms. Okay. Now, equating the imaginary parts, J omega L1 R4 equals to J omega C4 R4 R2 R3. J omega, J omega cancel. We will get the value of L1 as R4 and R4 are also cancelled. So, it is equal to C4 R2 R3. Putting the values of these variables, L1 is equals to C4 is what? It is given to us in the question as 0 0.5 microfarads. So, C4 is 0 0.5 microfarad. Micro, so it is 10 raised to the power minus 6. Then R2 is 400 and R3 is 600. So, we are getting the value of L1 as 0 0.12 Henry's. Okay. So, we have measured R1 and L1 using the Maxwell inductance capacitance bridge. Now, in the question, first part was to calculate values of R1 and L1. Second part is to calculate the storage factor if frequency is 1000 hertz. So, we know that the storage factor of a coil storage factor or we can say the Q factor or quality factor of a coil is given as a ratio of the inductive reactance to the effective resistance. Now, inductive reactance is what? Omega naught L upon R and omega naught is what? 2 pi f. So, it will be 2 pi f L by R. Now, here we have to find out the storage factor of the coil which we have which is connected in the bridge circuit. So, we have measured L1 and R1 for that coil. We are going to put the values of L1 and R1 in this and we can calculate the storage factor or Q factor of the coil. So, putting their value 2 pi F is what given to us in the question as 1000 hertz. So, putting its value 1000, L1 we have calculated 0 0.12 Henry's and R1 we have calculated it is 240. So, 0 and 0 cancelled. If we remove this, we will get 100 here. This will be removed 2, this is 12, this will be cancelled. So, we are left with pi only and the value of pi is 3.14. So, the storage factor is coming out to be 3.14.
So in this way, we can measure the value of the inductance using the Maxwell inductance capacitance bridge. There is no need to remember the balance equations or the value of R1 and L1. You can derive it at the time of solving the question also. Okay. You just need to remember the bridge circuit and uh, you are going to use the balance equation Z1, Z4 equals to Z2, Z3 and through that balance equation you can find out the value of the inductance okay in terms of the capacitance storage factor can also be calculated by you directly using the formula that is inductive reactance to the effective resistance okay so i hope that this problem is clear to you thank you